Now that your originating requirements are imported, you can preserve the original document through baselining. A baseline is a read-only snapshot of the document that is preserved until the document is deleted. Make sure you are within Requirements view. Click the Baseline button located on the toolbar. Provide a name for the baseline, such as version 1. Then click the Create button. Once the new baseline has been created, the only visual cue that you have that this happened will be a color change from the yellow-orange to blue of the baseline indicator, the leftmost block of color on every row in Requirements view. While the baseline indicator remains blue, it indicates the statement or requirement has not been changed since the last baseline. If the baseline indicator is yellow, it means that the statement or requirement has been changed since the last baseline, or has never been baselined at all. It's a good practice to create baselines every once in a while to help track the changes your team has made throughout the project, or to go back and review an existing document baseline. Simply click on the Switch Documents drop-down, showing the name of the document artifact currently being displayed. This opens a drop-down menu, allowing the user to switch which requirements document is being displayed in Requirements view. By selecting an existing requirements document artifact, a baseline version to display or manage a project's requirements documents. Select the baseline to view from the menu as indicated by the baseline icon, same icon used on the baseline button.